Okay, so we're looking at a Whirlpool washer here. This one has the F7E0 code on it, and it may have one more code. Uh, so let me get out of this real quick. We're going to turn the power off. Get into diagnostic mode on this. We're going to choose three keys. We're going to go with these three. Just do that three times. One, two, three. That was my third time. So that's your first button, second button, third button that you chose. Your second button will, your first one puts you, uh, the third button will show you, you can um, increment or go forward through the uh, error code. So we got the F7EO. Push the third button one more time again. It'll show you any other error codes. Also have the F8E6. Uh, that has something to do with the lid not being open or remaining open 10 minutes during a cycle. And so something like that and so we're back to the f7eo so the second button pushed one time puts you into diagnostic test mode this is the manual diagnostics and we're gonna what what's going on here we have that f7 eo error code is either low voltage or no voltage detected by the computer on this and so uh the problem is this thing hasn't been spinning out so we we've, we've uh actually uh, we've got an extension cord plugged up with this right now. It's a heavy-duty cord capable of, capable of carrying the correct amount of electricity for this. So we're going to turn the water valve on and just see what that does. And you hear a hum, but you don't get any water. So there's no water, of course. So there's no water coming out there. Oh, it's going to let me have a little bit finally. But just it's just hesitating. I'm going to turn the valve off because what we did actually took a meter... putting it on the low Z function uh, so that we don't read ghost voltage. We came over here and we're on this section of the plug down low and I'm just checking to see what our voltage is. As you can see right there, we're getting 60 volts, 59 volts, um, 56. It's just something's going on on that circuit pretty bad. So that's not gonna let you get the voltage you need to run the various loads on this machine and so to prove that what we did we we ran we're running these valves um i'm going to go up to the second valve the number one number two and let me see is it number two and number three or number one and number two those two tests are the water valves on here the hot and cold so for all practical purposes even the valves are not getting enough power to actually open and let water in and so we're going to turn this off and we're going to go across the hall here to another plug that I've already checked and it has the proper voltage 120 volts so we're gonna come back over here put this thing back in test mode we're gonna choose the second button again one press <clears throat> and we're gonna go up to test one and do it again and you're getting water This was not enough voltage present to actually even open a, a water valve, which requires almost no voltage, but it couldn't even do that. So, so we're going to even run two valves at once. So now we're running hot and cold. So I'm going to turn those valves off. That's working. Go back down to the first valve, turn it off. Your start button activates each load, and you can increment through the loads up and down with the your first two buttons you could have chose these three or these three but i use these three so this is button one button two button three for all practical purposes uh what i'm going to do now is go to test 12 which is one of the spin speed tests actually i'm going to do test eight first and that's going to drain out any excess water I'm going to go back down to test zero because to activate the spin, you have to have the lid locked. And the lid's not going to lock with the drain pump on. So I've got to go back up to the drain pump. Turn the drain pump off. Go back down to the lid lock, which I believe is zero. Lock the lid. Go back up to number 12 just to do the spin. So here we are. This should give us a spin. You're not really supposed to spin these with clothes in them. I do have clothes. I just want to see if the motor can turn um, with clothes in it. And it's already turning. I can... This light might be a little bright. 
But I think we can see enough through there. I have a light. So, well, here's a light in my hand. So you can see easily that's spinning. So it's if I hooked it up to this outlet here, it wouldn't spin at all. So, and good enough. We're going to cancel this out, put it in a regular load, and probably be having to get an electrician to replace a breaker.